Hello there everyone and welcome to a new Terraria modding video. In this one we're going to be covering what we covered back in lesson one which was setting up your mod and we're going to be doing this for version 0.11 of Team Mod Loader. As a lot has changed in the way mods are created there's a much simpler way which I now recommend compared to what I uh, re recommended in the past. So previously there were two methods for creating a mod. There was from scratch and from the mod skeleton website. Now these two methods still exist. However, the mod skeleton website is now inside Terraria itself. And this is the uh, way I recommend in your mod this time because it is official it also handles the references and everything else that you need for your mod and I'm going to show you how to create that we have Visual Studio open because we're going to be using Visual Studio in order to edit the mod as well as how to set up the editing of the mod so we're going to start by opening up So if you haven't installed version 0.11 you'll want to go do that um, straight away otherwise you will not be able to follow this video but if we go to mod sources there's a nice button down here called create mod it has these four options which are the exact same as the old skeleton mod so our mod name we're going to call this well, i've already used tmmc and tmmc2 so logically we'll go tmmc3 for the mod display name put a space in between master and class because we already have tmmc2 called the same thing just without space the mod author and the basic sword no spaces they kind of show you how you should do it with mod name they show you that you have no spaces they capitalize the different words because this is the namespace that ends up being used the mod display name and mod author these are allowed to have spaces in and this basic sword it's a class so there are no spaces so basic sword it's a class name spaces just aren't allowed with class names we're going to call this one example sword so if we quick click create you can see it's here tmmc3 and you can click build and reload it will compile the xna and fna versions if you go to mods you can see we have it here as you can see i have quite a few enabled so i'll just disable these i'll be uh this will be the one i'm going to be using from now on kind of i'm going to be editing a few things recreating the tmmc mod just so it's ready to be uh updated for version 11. so this is the mod grade it features a sword so if we go into a single player world just open this one i'll make sure not to save because it will cause issues if we jump down to mod you can see we have the example sword here and it's in tmmc3 so you automatically have a sword created simple enough so jumping back over to Visual Studio, we'll go File, Open, Project Slash Solution. You'll be going into your My Games Terraria Mod Loader Mod Sources, and you'll be selecting your mod. You'll be opening this TMMC3 or whatever you called it, CS Proj file. And as you can see, it's all set up already. You've got your mod class, which 
as the constructor itself. We've got a description and builds.txt, which has the information displayed. Did not mean to use that. Description shows the description. Inside the items folder, you have the example sword that shows the static defaults. Set static defaults and add recipes. There is something new that seems to have been added, and that is with display name. If you have a class like this, as long as it's capitalized, it will automatically put a space in between for the display name. The example sword will now show as example sword. So that is something that has either been added or has always existed, and I've never known. Okay, in properties, it's a bit different than before. In debug, they've set up so there's a profile that's executable, it executes the Varia mod loader path. And then the working directory is the Steam path. These are all set, so there's no need to worry about editing any of these. Build events, there are none because you will be building through mod sources, it seems to be the case. If you just click play, for example, let's see what it does. It looks like it compiles everything. Automatically, so there's no need to do the post, post, post build event. So apparently that's what I did. Let's do a real test. Let's open up this. Let's change the damage to 10, because that will display easier. Let's launch Terraria again. Jump into a single player world. We get our example sword again. This time it says 11 melee damage. So that's pretty accurate for uh, what we had. So now stuff is automatically built. You don't have to worry about properties. This will also prevent it from throwing the uh, error where it exits with code one or whatever. And so this is the method I'm going to recommend you do from now on. Uh, let's cover how to edit in Visual Studio. So first I recommend that you just go save all quickly so you can create a solution. Go save, overwrite and save. There we go. Because you'll never have to access properties again. You won't have to ever access dependencies. It has everything that you already need. So you already can begin editing. There are a few things you'll want to add to this, and it's the usual build ignore stuff. That's us, uh, dot CS proj dot PS. So, because it the way it builds, I think it does it automatically, but we'll be adding that stuff. Uh, the default language for this, I believe, is not 6 or 7. I could be wrong. I'll be covering that in the future, but you've got all this ready. Start your mod in. So, if you haven't updated to Tmod Loader 0.11, I highly recommend you do so. If you're starting out on modding, or even if you have an existing mod, it's kind of worth creating a new mod just so you've got everything ready. And then just transfer everything over. Because most stuff is the same. I don't think there's too many big edits that are going to cause issues for new modders. Hopefully this video has been helpful. I recommend this. No longer do the start from scratch method. It's too confusing for new people. Creating from scratch, just terrible. Create inside Terraria, best method to do. So 
thank you everyone for watching this has been a quick updated video for lesson one i'm going to disable comments on lesson one just because this is the recommended video now uh so until next time thank you everyone for watching and goodbye